when I'm working on my drawings, I'm working in model space. And when we're working in model space, we work to the actual size of the objects. In this case, we're looking at the floor plan of a small cabin that's been drawn at actual size of 24 feet by 36 feet. When it comes time to print this on a piece of paper, I'm going to work with my layouts. To navigate to the layouts, down here on the status bar, I have a couple of quick view tools. You notice that model space shows up as an icon, and then I have layouts, and my last used layout shows up as a button that I can toggle to. Uh, I have a layout called floor plan. I click, and now I'm looking at my layout. The layout would be considered in the past what AutoCAD is called paper space. And paper space shows me the actual piece of paper that my drawing would be placed on and I'm able to set the drawing up for how it will be printed on a specific printer. To switch back and forth between paper space and model space, I can use these buttons to toggle. So I'm back in model space and I'm choosing my last uh, used layout. Another way that I can view all of the layouts that I have available for a particular drawing is down on the status bar I have a button for quick view layouts. When I click this button you'll notice that I have a series of thumbnails that shows model space and it shows each of the layouts that are currently in this drawing. So we have an elevation drawing, we have the floor plan that we looked at before, and we have a sections view drawing. With my quick view layouts open, I can click on the thumbnail and change to that particular layout. If I click in this layout, you'll notice that the quick view layouts close. If I'd like them to remain open, I can open them and use the push pin so that they'll stay. Also, if I want these to be larger or smaller, make sure that I've chosen them by clicking on one of the, one of the uh, thumbnails. Hold down the control button and you can use your mouse to shrink or enlarge the view of the quick view layouts. Also on my menu down here, I have the ability to create a new layout and I can publish any particular set of layouts. On each of the layouts themselves you have the option of plot which would send it to a printer for printing a hard copy or I can publish which would electronically print a copy that can be read uh, using Autodesk DWF viewer. If I go to the layout thumbnail and right click you'll notice on my shortcut menu I have the ability to control layouts in this particular drawing. I can create a new layout or a layout from template. I can delete a layout, rename a layout, move or copy this layout, and I have access to the page setup manager which will set up the printer and the paper size and orientation for this particular layout. I can also access layouts from my menu browser going to insert and coming down to layouts I can insert a new layout, insert a layout from template, and I also have a wizard that will take me through step-by-step step creating a new layout in my drawing file. Even though I have the push pin pushed in, I can still close my quick view layouts by using the X on the menu. There's another way that I can deal with layouts and moving between them. Uh, this is the same way that's been used in previous versions of AutoCAD. If I right click on top of the layout uh, button, I get an option for display layout and model tabs. Now I have tabs that run across the bottom and I can switch between model space and any of the layouts that I have. Also you notice if you hesitate over each any of these tabs, you'll get a thumbnail of that particular layout. I can also right click on the tab and you see that I have my control menu for working with layouts in this drawing. To close the tabs, I right click on any of the tabs and I can hide the layout and model tabs. In creating a layout, 
there's a series of decisions that need to be made about its properties and settings. The most obvious is the size and the orientation of the piece of paper that's represented by the layout. In this case, we have an 11 by 17 B size sheet of paper represented by this white area. And its orientation is landscape, and those were choices that were made. In this layout, I'm looking at my piece of paper in actual size. So what my layout represents is essentially a what you see, what you get uh, print layout so that I can see exactly what it's going to look like when it's printed. Right now we're looking at this layout in paper space. There's no viewports active and if I use my display tools such as zoom or pan I'm merely changing the view of my layout. I'm not actually changing any objects that are on the paper. If I do a zoom all, it zooms me out to the extents of my paper layout. You'll notice on our layout that we have a dashed box on top of our piece of paper. This represents the printable area of the sheet and it's determined by the printer that's chosen during the layout setup process. This layout contains a title block which formalizes my drawing and also contains information that's necessary to communicate with this particular layout. The title block is drawn in the layout in paper space. I can draw title blocks using my regular AutoCAD drawing tools and they can be manipulated the same way.